Lesson 5.5, Unknown Numbers, we're going to use related facts to help us. We can use a related fact to find an unknown number. Remember, related facts use the same numbers in a different order. 9 plus an unknown number is equal to 11. We can use the related fact 11 minus 9 is equal to the unknown number. Because we can add in any order, we can say the unknown number plus 9 is equal to 11 and trade places with these two and put the cube in the front. We can find an unknown add end, sum, minuend, subtrahend, or difference. We write the unknown number in the empty cube. So just to remind you, in a subtraction sentence, the first number is the minuend. The second number is the subtrahend. That's the amount we're taking away from the minuend. And the answer is the difference. In an addition problem, the numbers that we add together are the addends, and the answer is the sum. So we can use a related fact to find an unknown number. 9 plus some number is equal to 11. We can do 11 minus 9 to find the unknown number. We can start at the 9 and count up to 11. 9, 10, 11. That was 2. 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. And the related facts, so they use the same numbers in a different order, we need to put a 2 here. Because we can add in any order, that means 2 plus 9 is equal to 11. And we already did 11 minus 9 is equal to 2, so we can put the 2 here. We just put the unknown number in the cube. We can use counters to help us find unknown numbers. Here we have 9 plus an unknown number is equal to 12. We have nine blue gems, and we need to add more gems so that we have 12. We have nine. We add one more to make a 10. One more makes 11, and one more makes 12. Nine plus the three pink gems makes 12 gems. And 12 gems minus the nine blue ones, if we take these nine blue ones away, we'll have the three pink ones. And these are related facts because they use the same numbers in a different order. Here we have 11 is equal to three plus an unknown number. And sometimes you'll see the sum and the equal sign in the front of the problem, of the number sentence, and that's okay. They write it like that sometimes. 11 is equal to three plus an unknown number. We can also say that unknown number is equal to 11 minus three. If we have 11 counters and we take three of them away, one, two, three, that's gonna leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means 11 minus three is equal to eight, so three plus eight is equal to 11. And the related facts, because they use the same numbers, three, eight, and 11, but in a different order. Here we have six plus an unknown number is equal to 15. We can solve this by doing a related fact of 15 minus 6 is equal to that unknown number. We have 10 counters, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 counters. If we take 6 of them away, we take away this 5 and one more, how many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. That means 6 
plus the 9 is equal to 15. So our unknown number was a 9. These are related facts because they use the same three numbers, 6, 9, and 15, in a different order. We can use related facts to find an unknown number. We have 9 plus an unknown number is equal to 19. We can say 19 minus 9 is equal to that unknown number. If the addition or subtraction is hard, remember we can use counters. We can make 19 dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. If we take 9 of these away, we have 10, and we have a 9 here. If we take this 9 away, that's just going to leave the 10. 19 minus 9 is equal to 10. Because these are related facts, we know the missing number, the unknown number, is a 10. 9 plus 10 is equal to 19. An unknown number plus 7 is equal to 16. We can use the related fact 16 minus 7 is equal to that unknown number. We can make 16 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can take away 7. We'll take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's going to leave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. The related facts, so we know this missing number is a 9. 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. Here we have a doubles. We need to find the sum, that's the unknown number, and it's equal to 7 plus 7. We can also say that 7 is equal to that unknown number minus 7. We can make 7 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can make 7 more dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many dots did we make? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That means 7 is equal to 14 minus 7. They're doubles. So two of the numbers are the same. We have a 7, a 7, and a 14 for the numbers in our related facts. And we can use cubes or draw a picture to solve. Emma has 12 flowers. She needs 18 to fill a vase. How many more flowers does Emma need? She has 12 flowers, but she needs 18. She has 12. We need to add some unknown number so that she has 18. We could draw a picture. Here I made 12 flowers. We have 10, 11, 12. We can draw more flowers until we have 18. We have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many flowers did I draw? 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. I drew six flowers so that we had 18. That means 12 plus six is equal to 18. We found the unknown amount of flowers she needs to fill her vase. There's 14 turtles that are on a log and five turtles go away. How many are on the log now? We can use the cubes and write 14 for the 14 turtles, minus 5 that went away is equal to how many are on the log now, the unknown number. The related fact would be 5 plus some number is equal to 14. I made 14 green circles for 14 green turtles. We can make 5 go away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many does that leave? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen turtles minus five is equal to nine. And five plus the nine is equal to fourteen. How many turtles are on the log now? Nine. Here's the five that went away, and here's the turtles that are still on the log. We can use cubes or draw a picture to solve. There are 17 children at the park. Some are boys and nine are girls. How many are boys? So we know there's 17 altogether, and it's going to equal the nine girls plus an unknown number of boys. It just says some boys. We need to find how many boys there are. We can use a related sen number sentence. 17 minus the nine girls would equal the boys. We can do 17 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We know out of these 17 that nine are girls. Nine are girls. We're trying to find boys, so let's take away the nine girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many does that leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 17 is equal to nine plus eight. And 17 minus the nine girls would be the eight boys. Eight boys are at the park. Now it says two more boys come to the park. We had eight boys and two more boys come to the park. How many boys are there now? We started with the eight. Two more come, so we're going to add two plus two, eight, nine, ten. There's ten boys at the park. We did this part first, and then we did this part, and we used our answer to help us solve the second part. There are twelve people at the beach. Five people leave, then three more come to the beach. How many people are at the beach now? There's a lot of steps to this one. We can start by solving the beginning. There's twelve people at the beach, and five people leave. We can make 12 circles for the 12 people, 10, 11, 12. Five people leave, so we can cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are left. It says, then three more people come. Three more come to the beach. So now we have to put three back on. One, two, three. So how many people are at the beach now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the three that just came, eight, nine, ten. There's ten people at the beach now. We found the answer to the first part and used the number to help us for the next part to add the three more. And now we have 10 people. Our next lesson is use related facts. We're going to keep using related facts and learn more about them. It's lesson 5.6. I'm very proud of you for doing the math and watching these videos. And I hope you're having a really good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.